All right, so, uh, been a bit since I last recorded. Uh, the last things I recorded were catching all of the legendaries in the base game here. And I sort of did that as, like, a, uh, bit of a breather for, uh, me to catch up on doing some other things I need to get done. So, before we do anything, uh, there has been an issue that has been plaguing me for a while. Uh, and that being, uh, hyper training, because a good chunk of my Pokemon have, uh, like, super trash, uh, IVs. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Hyper train all of these guys. Uh, we don't need to hyper train attack, but everything else can be hyper trained. And this is before we start the DLC. So, uh, DLC is really the last thing we kind of have to do. And now we can upgrade my, uh, Yeah, we can just upgrade all of it. Yeah, uh, Steam stats are all, like, pretty terrible. There we go. And now we can uh, go ahead and hyper train Spartans. Spartans, we have Cryogonal. Yeah, this this entire process will take us about 10 minutes. Like, sadly, like, Cryogonal actually learns a good chunk of physical moves, but its attack stat is absolute garbage. My Pokemon seemingly have, like, the worst possible IVs for a good chunk of things. Alright, so, uh, after that we need to... Oh yeah, this explains why Cyclozar gets outsped all the time. His IV, his speed stat is terrible. Like, look at that. He had, like, no speed IPs. <laughs> yeah, Drag Ride on really needed that buff. Alright, let's, uh, actually upgrade Jewel's, uh, defense stat, because, uh, lo and behold, uh, it'd be nice if Jewel could actually, uh, 
take a hit. All right, so uh, Lee Fei, Li Fei's stats, dis Li Fei, despite carrying us through pretty much the entire game, has had like the most average of average stats. Like, that's what's really sad. <laughs> like, Li Fei carrying us through most of the game could have been even better. And all Pachirisu needs is an upgrade to, uh, for special attack and special defense. And, uh, I'm going to hold off on messing with, uh, these guys here. So, my rule for the legendaries is I am not allowed to use the legendaries until I get to the end game. And Fluttermane is just for farming money from the uh, Elite Four. And that reminds me, um, need to put on Terra Blast back over Double Edge, because, uh, that screwed me over when I forgot to do that fighting, uh, Gita. Alright, uh, drag right on. And Jewel here. I need to, uh, teach Drag right on, uh, Ice Spinner. Actually, no, we can, uh, teach Aerial Ace to Cyclozar. Uh, I've, I've ne I need a Pokemon with a Flying-type attack, and I just cannot, for the life of me, like, go find a, uh... I'm drawing a blank on his name. A acrobatics team. So we need to go talk with uh, somebody at the academy about a field trip we've been invited on. So we go talk to her. And this is, uh... What's her name? Miss Briar. Okay, yeah, that's her name.
So now we got the Kitakami Pokedex, which, uh, what I'm gonna do after we get to Kitakami, I'm going to just go to my Pokemon bank and just fill it out. So we set out for the land of Kitakami by talking to Briar again. Yeah, uh, these guys, we have no idea who they are. They're just NPCs. They don't matter. The Teal Mask. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill out the Pokedex.